Hello and welcome to Azure IT's introduction to Business Central. The intention of this video is to provide a brief explanation of what Business Central is and to show the way the solution looks and behaves as it is used. So from a very high level, you can start to form an opinion of the solution and how it may be adopted by your company. Business Central is an ERP solution which combines the very best of a strong accounting application with an application that can handle the various facets of your business, a true end-to-end -end solution. Upon a strong financial management foundation, Business Central provides the ability to support and improve the efficiency and accuracy of the different areas of your business, such as inventory, sales and service management, supply chain management, manufacturing and assembly, and a very important aspect of any business management system is the ability to generate reports and analytics, and Business Central is very strong in this area. Business Central is a native cloud-based solution which means that you don't have to worry about software installations or ensuring that hardware such as PCs and servers are up to spec. You simply access the solution via a web browser. It's always there, it's in the cloud. A big benefit of this is that you never have to worry about purchasing and applying updates. All of that's taken care of automatically and you'll always be on the latest and greatest version. Currently, Microsoft roll out two large updates a year, the spring and winter updates. And there are also monthly updates containing bug fixes and security updates that just get taken care of and you don't need to worry about them. That being said, there are businesses who have a less than reliable internet connection, or there may be in an industry who are less comfortable putting their data into the cloud. For these kind of companies, Business Central can be configured for an on-premise deployment as well. Business Central is also Office 365 integrated. Microsoft have done a great job with the interconnectivity of their various applications and in this regard Business Central has the ability to act as a hub responsible for holding all of your business data and allowing other Microsoft applications to interact with that data making your day-to-day -day work life easier. When you join us on a functional presentation of Business Central you'll be able to see the power of this level of integration and get the opportunity to see it in a lot more detail. Now let's have a look at the solution itself. Welcome to Business Central. The first screen you are greeted with upon logging in is the Role Center view, which is designed to be a role-centric dashboard. There are around 26 different role centers for specific roles such as sales, purchase and finance, but you can also create your own hybrid roles. The biggest benefit of the Role Center concept is that the user isn't presented with a cluttered, busy screen containing information they don't want or need to see. It allows for a cleaner interface where information, links and actions that the user wants to have access to are quick and easy to find. I'm currently logged into Business Central as a business manager and the associated role center allows me quite a broad sweep of functionality and actions from core finance to sales and purchasing. The layout of a role center comprises of the navigation area at the very top, providing navigation to the various functional areas of the system then I have an insights area attracting a lot of attention with various snippets of information and to its right I have the actions area which has been tailored to allow me to perform my most common actions without navigating to the relevant functional areas of the system. Then I have one of the most visually useful areas of the role center, the activities and cue card section. This section provides me with headline information which I can drill down into should I wish to see the data driving these figures. And I also have what are called cue cards, which can be considered as in trays. These cue cards can be configured to provide visual feedback via red, amber, green statuses, so that you can visually attract attention to the particular piece of information when certain criteria are met. And you can define the different thresholds of each cue card to suit your requirements. The cue cards aren't just visual representations of information, they are also interactive and will take you to the relevant area once selected. For example, I can see that I have three ongoing sales quotations and can navigate to the sales quotation list screen. The final section of the role center is the insights and reporting area. This section provides list and graphical reporting and can even house Power BI reports to enrich the quality of reporting available to the role center. I started my description of role centers by explaining that there are around 26 different role centers to choose from. In reality, and especially in small to medium businesses, it's not so easy to define a clear separation of a person's responsibilities. 
Someone who works in sales and customer services may also be responsible for creating purchase orders and managing inventory. Microsoft understand this and have developed Business Central to be able to be personalised by the user. One result of this is the ability to add shortcuts to functional areas that are outside the default role centre. For example, I can use the menu option to explore all functional areas of Business Central that my user permissions and profile allow me. And if I have a requirement to access the opportunities area of the system frequently, I can add a link to it on my role centre using the bookmark button. Additionally, every screen in Business Central can have its layout personalised by yourselves as opposed to requiring a developer or partner such as Azure IT to do it for you. By accessing the personalised function, I now have the ability to reorder or remove the different components of this view. For example, once I've completed my setup tasks, I can choose to hide this section as I no longer need it. And I may wish to show my trial balance report before my favourite accounts report. In other views, there is the ability to add additional fields to particular sections and modify the order in which columns are presented. It's all about giving you ownership of your system, so you don't have to come to us every time you want to change to a screen. That concludes the Role Center section. The next part is the Look and Feel section, to show you the different views that you'll encounter throughout your daily use of Business Central, views being the way that information is presented to you. The two most utilized types of view are the list views and card views. Firstly, let's look at list views. There are three different layout options for a list view. Tall tile and tile views offer a nice visual representation of records. You'll notice that as I select different records, the area to the right updates to show relevant information without having to drill into each record card. This area is called the fact box. The fact box is a very useful feature that exists throughout the system, providing you with contextual information of which you can also personalise. In this example, the fact box is providing me with relevant information about the stock item I'm focused on. In a customer screen, the fact box will show me a 360 view of the customer I'm focused on, and we'll see more examples of the fact box as we progress. The third layout type is the list layout. This layout looks, feels and operates very much like Excel. You can sort specific columns ascending or descending. And you can remove, reorder and add fields to this view using the personalization option again. It is also possible to create multi-level filtered views. For example, if I open the filter panel and apply the first filter of item category code and assign the value of chair, and add another filter for quantity on hand and apply the value of greater than zero, the list view now shows all chairs that are in stock. And now I can save this filtered view so whenever I come back to the inventory list I can quickly select my chairs in stock filter. The list view looking and working like Excel is not a coincidence and is much more functional than just a Microsoft design style. As I mentioned earlier, it's possible to utilize Excel to complement the operations of Business Central. There are two options available. Firstly, you can simply export information to Excel, which is useful for when sharing information with non-Business Central users, such as the filter view of chairs in stock. The second option allows you to edit in Excel which creates a dynamic link between the workbook and Business Central, meaning that you can make changes to the data with Excel and use your favorite Excel functions such as VLOOKUPs and Find and Replace, or maybe you just really like working in Excel. Any changes that are made can be published directly back to Business Central. As a very simple example, I'll make a small change to the description of this blue chair and publish that back to Business Central. And back into Business Central, I can refresh the screen and see the change. A really useful feature of this is that I can now save the workbook and the link with Business Central remains, meaning that I can open the workbook again in the future, select refresh and get the latest data from Business Central 
make my changes and publish directly from here if I want, without even opening Business Central. The next view is the card view, which in this case is the item card. As part of the functional demonstration of Business Central, we'll have an in-depth look at the available information on an item card. However, as part of this look and feel demonstration, I simply wish to explain the layout and presentation of information on a card view. A typical card view contains a ribbon area at the top, which provides action buttons and navigation options. Each card is divided into sections called fast tabs. As ever, the details on this screen can be personalised to show, move or hide certain pieces of information. And notice the show more option at the top of each fast tab. This allows you to further personalise your experience by allowing prioritisation of information you want to see. The fact box makes an appearance again on the item card. You can upload an image of your item and it's also possible to store attachments such as additional information, construction instructions or health and safety documents. And this ability can be enhanced further by using Microsoft SharePoint integration with Business Central. Further down the fact box, you can see values for the item attributes and forecast information. This report could be powered by Power BI. The last part of the look and feel section is to further demonstrate accessibility. We've already seen one example of Business Central data being accessed via Excel. Now let's look at my favourite, the Outlook add-in. This fantastic feature removes the requirement of having to switch between applications to perform tasks. Here is my Outlook mailbox, which I'm accessing through my Office 365 Online account, but the desktop application can be configured to operate just the same. To demonstrate this feature, I have set up two scenarios. The first is a common request. I can't find the original invoice you sent me. Can you please forward me a copy of invoice ABC123? Business Central inherits Microsoft's research and development efforts with regards to artificial intelligence or machine learning, known as Cortana. The email example you see here has been sent as normal text, but Cortana is aware of the association between the words sales invoice and the text that follows it. After recognising this, it is then converted into a hyperlink automatically to allow us to interact directly with the information stored within Business Central. The user can then perform checks to ensure that the referenced invoice number is associated to the contact or company that made the request before sending out a copy of the invoice as requested. The information being presented here is coming directly from Business Central and the same intelligent functionality is available for other documents such as purchase invoices, quotations and other documents. Access to required information this quickly and easily saves a lot of time. The second example is one provided by Microsoft upon connection of your mailbox to Business Central. This is an email from a customer requesting a sales quotation for seven chairs and two tables. Using the menu button on the email window, we can access contact insights from Business Central, which provides us with an overview of the customer's record, providing information about any balances that may be outstanding, customer history and any other relevant information which would allow us to ascertain the credibility of this customer before progressing with their request. This customer is in good health with us, so we'll start the process of providing them with a quotation for the items they asked for. From the button bar on the ribbon, we can select New Sales Quote. Cortana will scan the body of the email for information it recognises and present suggested line items. Amend and confirm the details as necessary and the sales quotation is created in Business Central via Outlook. We can then review the quotation and perform any necessary checks. Then send the quotation as a PDF attachment on an email without ever having to leave Outlook. I'll quickly navigate back to Business Central and refresh the page to show you the quotation we just created in Outlook. The final thing I'd like to show you is the different ways in which Business Central can be accessed. 
Business Central is delivered via a web browser interface and is also available via native applications for Apple devices, Android devices and Windows mobile devices. These are the representations of how Business Central looks and operates on each type of device. You can see that it's been developed to automatically scale to fit any device, orientation and resolution. As your IT would like to thank you for your kind attention. We hope that you will join us for an interactive functional demonstration of Business Central. Please call or email a member of our team to book a suitable date and time, and we look forward to speaking with you soon.